Hello, first grade family, grown ups. My name is Laura Doran, and I just wanted to make a quick video so that you could see my face and know who it was who is going to be teaching your children for the remainder of this first grade year. Um, I am a familiar face to Loon Lake, so some of you may have seen me around. Um, I've taught here for 23 years, but um, the beginning of this year, I started remotely with second graders, and then I moved to our path with kindergartners, and now I'm here for my third curriculum um, in first grade back face to face. Um, I know that for many of you, you are probably very disappointed to be seeing my face, and I want you to know I completely understand. Um, I have four children at home, grades five, eight, 10 and 11, and my fifth grader too is having his third change this school year with different students and different teachers. So I completely understand that and that anxiety that comes with it. If your child is in school or was in school this last um, second trimester, I did get a chance and the opportunity to read all of them a book. I'm gonna make a separate video for them so that they can kind of see what this classroom will look like. We're still working. My mom is um, helping me out right now. Um, at home, I've had like all hands on deck. Um, I've worked with Mrs. Bandy and Mrs. Hoger, um, was hired in with Mrs. Hoger 23 years ago, and we've worked on the same team. So I want you to know that I we will work together. We will keep things as uniform as possible and make this a successful year. My number one priority is for your kids to be happy. And I promise you that I'm gonna do everything in my power to take them from where they are move them forward. And I've had a lot of experience with that. I did want to share a couple things with you because um, just like with every teacher, um, some things might look a little different and we might do things different. I'm sorry to say that I do not use Seesaw. And at this point in my life, learning three new curriculums and all the new technology, I'm not going to take that on right now. But I do have other ways that I communicate and I communicate in a lot of different ways. And I hope that you will reach out to me via email, maybe remind text messages or any way that is comfortable for you. We can even Zoom like this if you ever want a face-to-face -face meeting um, so that I can meet you and see you. So let me go ahead and head into our Google Classroom, which what will happen is if your child logs into their Google Classroom now, I'm hopefully sharing the screen with you, I believe I am. Um, if they move into their Google Classroom, to get to Google Classroom, by the way, there's three dots over here. And if you click Classroom, from your child's account. So make sure they're logged in um, under their at students.wlcsd.org account. You will have all their classes up here. So they'll probably, um, I'm, I've kept all my other classes intact because I've been keeping in touch with all my former students. So you will see one now that says Mrs. Doran's fabulous first graders. It's going to ask you to join it. So I hope that you will on your end. Um, when you come in here from now on, I will be posting daily what our schedule is, and I will be working from this screen. So if ever your child's absent and you want to know what we've been working on, you can come here. I also have a lot of things linked from Loon Lake. Um, I have fun things for reading month. Here is the March, is well the wellness calendar that Mrs. Kidder added. Um, March is reading month. I have, you know, the calendar that has come out for Loon Lake, as well as other fun things that the kids can do. I've made slides. Um, I'm kind of a techie person that you might have heard. So, I mean, we have Read Across America. You can read books from different countries or not different countries, pardon me, different states. Um, but there's a lot of things in there. So um, I will be working from this, including lessons will be linked. So for example, on Monday, um, if we're doing phonics, reading and social studies, if your child happens to be absent, they will be able to access those lessons in the appropriate bins for phonics and um, social studies and all of the different um, content that we'll be doing. Like I said, I plan to be meeting with your children one-on-one um, -on -one to get to know them and to um, take them from where they are and just help them continue to grow as a learner. I did want to share with you though, since you are the parents, some of the things that I have in here that I emailed out, but you can also access through here. So if you go to classwork, under your child's thing. One of the things I really want to continue, and I hope that you will do, um, with my kindergartners, um, in order, we did a mystery reader. Now, in years past, um, maybe some of you parents who are not brand new may have been a mystery reader in your child's classroom. I still like to continue that. And the way in which I do that um, is you would click down here to mystery reader, and you can take a video of yourself reading a book to our class. And then I would project it in the classroom, make a big deal of it. I would 
you know, record your child's reaction as they learn that, you know, their parent or their grandparent or their sibling or whomever would like to read um, is our mystery reader. So if you want to be a mystery reader, you can absolutely do that. Um, I mentioned that I um, do not do Seesaw, but I do have a remind um, app that I use. Um, if you have older kids, a lot of the coaches and older teachers use this to send out reminders. And you can text me that way too. I do get back to emails within 24 hours, Monday through Thursday. So if you email me like on a, at five o'clock on a Friday, I may not get to it on the weekend, um, but I usually do, but I just don't wanna make any promises for that. So that's my Remind app. Um, if for whatever reason, something happens where we need to pivot on a dime as some of you have had experience this year, um, I wanted you to know that all my Zoom links are here. So if you ever wanted to meet with me via Zoom, um, or if we had to change instruction that way, here are our Zoom links. Um, also, I do a lot with, um, I have a Thoughtful Thursday project, as I mentioned in the email that I sent you, where um, I will take video or pictures and send to people. And if you've looked at some of those projects, or maybe you've been a recipient before or know someone who has, um, I would like to get permission from you to take a picture of your child. I never, ever, ever put a name with a face um, on any kind of social media platform. So you'll never see those two things together. Um, but you'd have to fill out your child's name, your name, and if it would be okay if I would videotape your child. Um, also, I know this is hard for them meeting a third new teacher and again, you know, me having another group, but I really want to get to know your children and it would help me if you could fill out this family survey, think about your child, tell me some of the things that they love, um, areas that you want me to work um, with in them. And I emailed this in the email too, but that will just help me be able to hit the ground running and make them more comfortable as well. And I think that's it. I hope that's it. I, I know I'm rambling and I apologize for that. Um, there's just, as you know, a lot of things that are on our minds right now, but please reach out if you need anything, know that I'm here to partnership with you, um, partner up and we're gonna make this a great year. And it's a strange year, but we're gonna make it an unforgettable one in a good way. So please reach out if you need anything and have a wonderful weekend and tell your kids I'll see them on Monday and all is going to be well. Take care.